Welcome back, CSE 3200 Yukon Stores. We're heading into chapter 13 on fragment navigation. Currently in our application, criminal intent, we start off on the crime list fragment where we see 100 crimes scrollable in a recycler view. But if we click on any of these crimes, all it's going to do currently is give us a toast and we don't get to navigate to the detail screen. We're gonna spend the chapter fixing that so that when we click it, we will first get to the navigation screen. We're going to do that in this video by uh, implementing the Jetpack Navigation Library. So let's get started on The first thing we're going to have to do is go into our Build Gradle module and put in two implementations. This is our first one, Android X dot navigation colon navigation dash fragment dash KTX 2.5.3. The book says 2.4.1, but we're going to use the 2.5.3. Uh, I've not tried it on my laptop yet, so we'll see if we have any problems with it, but I doubt it. Uh, the next one is going to be very similar, so I'm just going to start off with a copy and paste and we are just going to change the fragment to UI. Uh, the, this bottom one gives us our basic access to the navigation library, and this implementation here is specific for fragments. All right, let's sync. Okay, eventually it did work. Uh, it took quite a bit of going back and forth, but um, something was wrong with the Gradle, but it is all set now. So those, uh, those implementation lines were successful ultimately. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a file for our navigation library to reside. So we are going to right click the resource folder here and go new Android resource folder, and we are going to call it NAV underscore graph, nav graph. You're also going to want to change the resource type to navigation. When you do that, you will see, try again, you will see the directory name also change to navigation, so we'll do it in that order. So that changes to navigation, so does that. NAV underscore G-R-A-P-H, okay. All right, now we are going to um, be sent to the navgraph.xml. It's gonna look like a layout folder, but it's not contained in the same folder. It's contained in a navigation folder. Uh, but we have the code split and design uh, views over here. This is saying click, um, and let me blow that up. And no, not that won't blow up. Okay, so it's got this icon. It looks like a phone with a green plus sign in the lower right-hand corner. Click this icon to add the destination. It isn't here, it's up here. So we're gonna click that new destination. It's gonna take a while to load this, and we are going to add crime list fragment. Uh, since it was the first view that gets added to the nav graph, it is going to be the launching off point, the first view that the user sees. Note that right now this says preview unavailable. We're going to fix that in just a second. So we're going to go over to code and see if some code has been generated. We are going to put in the last namespace that we don't have, and that's the tool namespace, XML. Uh, then we can go ahead and autocomplete that. Now that we have the tools, we are going to use those tools to get our preview. Tools, colon, layout, equals, double quotes, inside the double quotes, at layout, uh, and we are going to pick the one that says fragment crime list. Now, when we go back into the design view, this says loading now, and we get a preview, and now I should be able to 
uh, zoom in a bit to 300% to show you a preview. We can move this around. It doesn't really matter where it's at, but we're gonna put it here. And in the very near future, we're gonna put the crime detail fragment right here. We're gonna go back into code and notice that we have an ID for the nav graph itself. We also have this line here that says that we have a start destination, which is crimeless fragment. I suppose in the future, if we wanted to start off with the detail, or maybe we made a mistake. Remember I told you that whenever we put in our first view, it's gonna be our launching off point. If we made a mistake and we wanted a different launching off point, we could change this line right here. Now we're gonna go into our layout folder, our main layout folder, activity main.xml. The navigation graph, which we just navigated away from, on its own, it's gonna define what screens your app can navigate between. But to make use of these definitions, we have to connect the graph to our user interface. We're gonna do that here. We are going to put in the last um, namespace. And this time it is the auto res namespace. And we are going to take out this name here. Well, I suppose I can keep Android name. We're just going to change this part. And try that again. All right, so inside the double quotes, we're gonna put Android X dot navigation dot fragment dot nav host fragment. Nav host fragment is something we get automatically once we put in that uh, dependency for the um, navigation library. And we are going to use it inside of a fragment container view. And we are going to put in a couple of lines of code more in order to inflate that view here. So we're gonna go app default nav host true. default nav host equals, and in double quotes, true. And then app colon nav graph equals at nav graph inside double quotes at nav, sorry, at navigation forward slash nav graph this being the file name. Okay, well, let's try that again. And navigation is misspelled. Okay, there we go. Now at this point, um, this just guarantees that when I start the application, I am going to start off with the crime list view, which is no different than it was before, but we're just going to run this real quick to verify that it, it's running, and then I start off with my list view. Okay, that works. We'll get rid of that. We're gonna go back to our nav graph. We're gonna to go to the design view and we are going to add another new destination. This time we are going to select crime detail fragment. Uh, doesn't matter where it's at, but uh, I'm just gonna set it over here. And again, we don't have a preview available and we will fix that in a minute, but before we do, you're going to select the crime list fragment. It is now highlighted. Note the circle over here. Click the circle and you now have this extension. Drag it over to anywhere within crime detail fragment. Let go. And we now have a destination from crime list fragment to crime detail fragment. Go back into code and we can see we have a lot more code. Uh, we have this action here which is describing that we are connecting from 
our list fragment to our detail fragment, and we then have the detail fragment itself. So we're gonna make two changes here. First of all, we've got this very long um, ID that's auto-generated. We are gonna change that to something a little less verbose because we will be using it for code in a minute. We're gonna put uh, show underscore crime underscore detail. And then we are going to add in our um, our line of code here that gives us the preview. It's going to be pretty much this, except for not the word list. So I'll copy that and put this in here and change list to detail. Now I'll go back into design and we should get loading and we should get our preview and we are good. We are all set with that destination. So we can run this but right now we still have it so that when we press a um, when we press a crime, it still just gives us a toast that you know the uh, ID was clicked. So let me just click on toxic lunch and copy room and we get a toast toxic lunch and copy room clicked. So we are going to have to take care of that and take out the code where we got the toast. That's going to be in crime holder. Crime holder is in the crime list adapter. And we need to find the set on click listener. Here's where we make that toast. We are going to get rid of this toast and we are going to put in on crime clicked. Now we don't have on crime clicked. We're going to pass that in as a function in the Lambda. So we're going to come up here to fun bind and inside of the parentheses comma on crime clicked and colon, begin and end parentheses, and then our arrow. Now we still have another change to make. In crime list adapter, we need to include the same lambda. So we're gonna come down here and put in private val on crime clicked, paren paren, uh, colon in front of that, and then unit. Uh, unit is supposed to be synonymous for like void in Java. And then down in the holder.bind here, get rid of this. In the holder.bind, uh, there's an error here because we just put in a second argument uh, with that lambda. So we are going to put in comma on crime clicked. And let's test it out. Oh, we got two errors. Let's find those. Oh yeah, there's a, uh, a comma which uh, I've done this a couple of times and that comma is awfully hard to see in the textbook, but um, we need a comma up here on the existing line that we had private vowel crimes. And uh, do we have another error? Okay, we do. And up here. Uh, yes, yeah, so on the other side of this arrow should be another unit to capitalize that and now we will run it and instead of getting a toast we should just get a navigation to our um, to our detail screen and it isn't going to have any information uh, but looks like that's not working yet it says no value passed for the parameter of on crime clicked and it's leading me to crime 
list fragment. Okay, in crime list fragment, we have got to um, put in a curly brace after this and find nav controller pren pren dot navigate and we're going to put the ID inside of navigate for where we are going. I think this changes in a minute, but for right now, we're going to put r.id.showCrimeDetail. Okay, let's save that. And let's see if we can get it to run now. Looks like we're going to get there. All right, I'll click on anything here. I don't get the toast, but I do, after a bit of a delay, get to navigate to the detail screen. Okay. So that is going to wrap up video one for fragment navigation. We set up a, um, a, a destination using NavGraph. We set up uh, the original starting location using NavGraph and we connected them and we changed the logic to allow us to see this screen. Uh, in the next video, we are going to pass the data to the fragment so that this isn't generic, right? I clicked on something like Toxic Lunch um, and I, I need to see that title and uh, some of them are gonna be solved and so that checkbox will be lit up. So we are going to uh, pass that data using a fragment. I'll see you in that video next.